All right, Garrett, here's this part. Just picked it up from the store. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. How much was it, man? It was only 50 bucks. I thought it was going to be a little bit more, but you think you think that'll fix it? Oh, yeah, no, this will get the job done. I'm just finishing up the final touches, tightening these screws, and should be good to go. Yeah, perfect. Just throw that in there, and then we got a call, and it, it's, it, I'm a little nervous. This name sounds too familiar. You guess the last name. I'll say the first name, Bill. What? D don't first, tell me. First name Don't Bill. tell me it's. Don't tell me it's wild. It's wild. Yep. No. It's, it's wild, Bill. I, why? Why does he? Oh, he's the most annoying person we've ever dealt with. Yeah. Yeah. This is. I mean, not. A, I guess annoying is one word. I would say just crazy. So if you guys remember, we had a repo shop on KST. This was like two, three years ago, and there was this crazy guy, Wild Bill. Anyway, he's like an ex -vet veteran or he went to jail or something after that. And then and then he's just crazy. He has like old army equipment. And Garrett, we have to repo. You want to hear it? Yeah. We have just, to repo. Just give it to me. Guess how much it weighs. I, I'm guessing quite a bit based off the way you said that. 28,000 pounds. And it's whoa, a tank. whoa, 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 whoa. 20, 28,000 pounds. Yep. It's a tank. Like... Like a military tank yeah, or like a It's a full a on metal truck. tracks, the whole nine yards. I'm trying to, we're probably the only repo shop that could do this in a hundred square miles or something, but we have to figure out how are we going to get this thing back to the shop and it pays good, but this guy bought this tank or he like stole it from a museum and they need it back. So that's what we got to do. All right. Well, we'll try not to damage it, but I think it can handle whatever we do. Definitely going to need a 50 ton today. Yeah, we're going to need a 50 ton. I'm thinking about bringing Black Betty and then we'll just kind of figure out how we're gonna do it hopefully he's not there one and then because we're gonna last time guys he chased us down he had like this huge truck he tried to run into us crazy i'm surprised that he's not in jail or maybe he just got out of jail but that's uh that's the plan garrett all right well let's get moving then man getting black betty here let's fire her up there we go he's turning over Ooh, i see your cold going there all right, Garrett, let's haul down there. Be careful. It's kind of, I mean, it, it's late morning, but honestly, rush hour is probably over with. I was going to say, watch out for traffic, but just follow me, man. Okay, I'm right behind, and be on your A-game here, because we know Wild Bill, well, he's pretty wild, so yeah. anything could happen. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh, I, I was going to say, I, must have, I almost forgot, but we brought, uh, I brought my toe straps. Oh, you did? Perfect, perfect. So, you're thinking we'll probably drag that most of the way with your truck i'm thinking that's what we're gonna haul it out with and if it's in a tough spot or backed up somewhere and we can't get it hooked up we'll probably use your 50 ton to get it positioned and then i'll i'll take it home i'm not too sure how we're gonna make it work with the metal tracks but we're just gonna make it work yeah i've, I've never towed a tank before that is nothing even similar to it so we're gonna have to run into whatever happens and figure it all out all right all clear and i've never i've never told tank but it's gonna be a lot harder if we got wild bill barking at us or just going crazy so we'll have to see i'll have to see if he's there and then hopefully he's in a good mood and he doesn't recognize us oh yeah no if he recognizes us we are we're done we're diddly done free. man we, we might as well just pack up and head home okay but we have to agree no matter what if he starts chasing he cannot know where the new repo shop is. that's true that's he probably already does know he probably well he's been in this situation so many times he knows that we're coming to repo it or that he that he stole it whatever the situation is but we're coming yeah that is true maybe maybe we could stake it out first pull in and the only way to get there is we have to go through this we got to go through my house we have to go through your house to well, get there around why, why do you live so close i didn't know he still lived here ah uh, okay all right here we go so pull into my house here and then you got a loop around back there's this drive that's like an easement and he gets the rights to it yeah i would have never bought this house but hey you made that choice all right, just hang out here for a second. I don't want the engines. He's probably sleeping or something. Okay, I do see a tank. Yep. Oh, it's around back. I got a tank. Okay, let's just pull in. And then if he's there, he's there. We just kind of say, I don't know. Hi, how's it going? I'm not talking to him. You, you, you can do that, though. I want to be in and out of there, man. All right, here we go. Let's pull in. And then it, it, there's this water crossing. So get some speed. Hopefully Black Betty's got it in her. I think she will. We're I'm rolling. Just about this 50 ton. Yeah, there 50 you go. ton. There we go. Oh, geez. All right, I made it. I made it. I'm clean. I'm in. Okay. Here right comes Gary. Oh, that's a big tow truck coming through. All right, here is the tank. Let's see. Watch the propane tank there. Yep. 
G'day, g'day. All right, Garrett, I'm following your lead. What do you think we should do? How do we get this out of here? Okay, so I was putting some thought into it. First up, we need to get this thing away from here. Because if you look at it, terrible ground. Obviously, if we're bringing your back end here, like yep. there's no way you're going to be able to pick it up in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it, so, looks, it looks pretty rough. If we can get it straight, because it's kind of wet back here. Yeah, if we can get it straight, I can fly through that water spot, and then we'll make it onto the pavement. Yeah, and these treads have also dug into the ground. So we'll move it out, I guess, with my vehicle. It should get the job done, the 50 ton. For sure. And then we'll try our best to kind of line it up. You might have to hop in the driver's seat of that tank and kind of steer it. I'm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, well, and then and then once we have it moved over, I think we should be good to just connect on up with your vehicle and get this thing out of here. That works, big cat. Let's do it. Enough chitter chatter. Let's get at her. All right. I'm going to line up. So just watch my back end and let me know how she's looking. Yep, I'll help you. I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen any curtains move or nobody's came barging out of doors. So hopefully Bill isn't here. Yeah. No, if, if I see Bill, I'm actually going to be kind of scared. Like, yeah, I'm is... just I'm going to swim to the other side. Yeah, he's pretty crazy. You're going to swim to that lighthouse over there or <laughs> yeah actually that'd be a good place that'd be perfect all right that's our plan if if he comes by we just get on and him. then and then i can call for the coast guard to rescue me that'll be yeah that'll be fun man but let's hope it doesn't happen yep keep coming you're looking good okay i'm just gonna lower this down should I go further uh right there right there it looks right there yep okay i guess we can just leave that arm in we aren't really getting too much distance here perfect i'll let you hook it up looks good yep there we go all right, so kind of guide me. Let me know how she's looking. Yeah, I've see never... if you can raise it up. It's moving a bit here. Keep going. Yeah, okay. It's pretty heavy. No surprise. It looks like you're struggling a bit, but she's moving. She's moving. I think you kind of broke her free. That's the that's the hardest. Yeah, definitely. All right. There you go. Keep, uh, yeah, keep lifting. Good. See if you can get her up off the ground. Just the, there you go. Weight's off the back. You're good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, oh, yeah. I'm going to start driving. Keep an eye on everything, man. I don't want to damage this. There we go. She's moving. The rollers are stuck, but... Okay, there we go. She's moving. She's moving? She's moving. All right. There we go. This thing's actually handling it pretty good. Yeah, it's turning. It's kind of tracking with you. Keep going. Go straight, and then I'll hook up, and we'll take her yeah. home. I don't uh, still don't hear anybody yelling or screaming. There we go. Oh, You're she is heavy when you Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're turning, that's probably pretty hard. Yeah, it really, really is. All right. I think that should be good. All right, you're good. I can detach you. Okay, we need to... Uh, it's taking a little bit. We should probably keep moving. I know it's hard, but remember, sense of urgency. If Bill comes home, we're in trouble. Yeah, that is for sure. All right, I'll let you slide on in here, and I'll move on out of the way. There we go, boys. Let's crank her around here with Black Betty. All right, Garrett, you're going to have to help me out a bit. It's been a while since I've been at work here. All right, well, first things first, you got to detach our little hook here. Here we go. Drop her down. All right, we got this thing off of here. Finally, we're putting it in the right part of the bed. Perfect. Looks good. Yeah, everybody was saying, like, Spencer, you, uh, what do you technically call that? Just the attacher, I would say? Yeah, I think it's like our attachment bar. Not everybody too sure was saying, Garrett term. and I had it in the front before, and everybody in the comments is like, Spencer, that's in the wrong spot. Like, what are you doing? And we figured out where it's supposed to get attached. It's supposed to get attached in the back there, and that's, there we go. We're good now. Yeah, so thank you guys for everyone for letting us know because we figured it out without you. There we go. We'll lower down the crane arm. Yep, there you go. Pretty it's good at driving this thing. Yeah, I'm starting to figure it out again. All right, Gary, I'm backing her up. Is that good? Keep going. Yep, yep right there, right there. No, that's good. That's good. All right, looks you good. should be able to. There we go. Got both lines down. Got her strapped, and then let's see if we can lift her up here. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it off the ground. I'm, I'm impressed. There we go. I think I'm maxed out. And she looks pretty good. Yeah, so now just raise up your back bar. Oh, yep. On that dragon. Get some there support. You go. Alrighty. All right. I'm going to get some speed here. I'm just going for it, Garrett. Yeah, just full send, man. It's the only option. All right, I made it through. That was actually a little easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, we made it through. Follow me. And is anybody chasing us? We look to be good. But as we know, Wild Bill has it out of the vehicle. So gotta yeah. get out of here real quick in the past guys he came with the humvee and there was like there was like a 50 cal on top and it was it was crazy we had to run it was it was not good yeah but luckily he's not out today so let's hope it stays that way all right keep following me we'll hang all right this roundabout's tough this is what i was worried oh, yeah. about the most yeah not easy when you're driving a, a tow truck but with a tank on the back it's even harder yeah yeah I, Miss the mailboxes, keep coming around here, but surprised we got through the water. We made it through the roundabout. I think that's the hardest part. And if Bill isn't chasing us, we can 
Probably take it kind of easy from here. Yeah, but hey, don't think like he's not gonna come get us because there's always a chance. That's you know, true. That's true. He's, sometimes he's just taking a little nap first, and when he wakes up, it's game on. You know, just a few days ago, Garrett, we would be underwater right now. Two days ago. That is so true. I can't believe all of this was flooded. Yeah, I'm sure. I bet Wild Bill's in there because his house flooded. I bet he's not even in there. He's probably got insurance for it, and he's living. You know, a lot of people are living in hotels right now. Yep, that's true. Oh, wow. I, I didn't even notice this tree. I kind of scraped up the side of our, our truck, oh, man. Oh, Garrett, dude, there's a huge tree down there. Don't you remember? Yeah, I, I, but I somehow just completely was not paying attention. And either way, we, we need a little touch up on the paint job. All right, that's your job. But come on, man. Chow's not going to be happy. Yeah, I know. I know. We don't have to tell him. For those who don't know, we're actually, a lot of people are asking, we're working for Chow. So it's Chow Repo. He owns the repo and towing business and towing and rescue business. And so Chow owns all the equipment, all that stuff. He pays us. So when Garrett scratches up the paint and I say Chow isn't going to be happy, he's not going to be happy because he owns it. Yeah, that is true. All right, we got a actually, railroad up here. Slow down. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye behind us just in case Bill comes on by. Perfect. There we go. Clear the tracks. Looks How's she like driving? They still got the road close to her right from the flood. Still haven't cleared oh, it out. Whoa. I guess there's more damage down there than yeah. there was I think in Maybe other they spots. still have water or something, or you know, maybe they got it cleared, but they just haven't taken the signs. But yeah, it's pulling good though. Yep. All right. I'm glad to to see that. Probably using a lot of fuel right now. Yeah, she's not getting the best MPG, that's for sure. No way, Jose. All right, hang her right. We're almost home. Where do you want to park her? Oh, honestly. I don't know because this is a tank. We've never really had anything that quite this size. We should probably just put her on the grass, I think, is the best option. I'm, I'm just worried that Wild Bill's going to be driving on by and he'll see it. And I guess, honestly, either way, he knows it was us. Like, yeah, we're when he only... wakes up or wherever he comes back home, like we're going to have an issue on our hands. Yeah, for sure. Let's drop. I think I'm going to drop it right here. That's probably the safest bet. Okay. okay I'm going to park it. up in the garage. All right, lowering it down. It's on the ground. If you want to come help me unstrap here. Yep, yep. One second. Let me just get this off the road. There we go. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. There wait up, go. wait up. There we go. All right, and there's number one Got and it. number two. Nice. All right, just grab the attacher off. We'll throw it back on the tow truck, and we will be good to go. All righty. Here we are. That was a job well done, man. Yeah, it wasn't. it wasn't as bad as I had originally thought. But it wasn't easy, and we got it done. I'm going to go ahead and pull in. I think Chow's actually stopping in later this afternoon. So let's sweep up the shop here, clean her up, make him happy. Make it nice and pretty for him. If you guys haven't seen, this is our KSD repo map. This is where we're doing all the repo shop. This is where we're doing all our repos here on KSD. The shop is beautiful. It looks great. Got a, got a huge lift that can, I think it lifts 25,000 pounds. Pretty crazy. Wasn't cheap. No, it was not. But luckily, Chow paid for it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. There we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash the like button. We didn't meet Wild Bill. That's what I was most worried, worried about him going crazy because he's chased us down, banged on the doors when we towed his car, repoed his cars. So smash the like button, guys. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next one.